Six predicted questions with answers for paper one, AQA GCSE chemistry exam 2024. Question one, use your knowledge of structure and bonding of diamond and graphite to explain the difference in their property. You need to talk about structure and bonding for di diamond. Each carbon atom in diamond is bonded to four others uh, with covalent bonds. So there are no free electrons to carry charge and they do not conduct electricity. They are very hard and have high melting point because of the strong covalent bonding that needs very high energy to break. As for graphite, each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbons, so there is one free electron from each carbon atom, so electrons are free to move through the structure and they can carry charge and conduct electricity. Layers can slide past each other due to weak intermolecular uh, forces of attraction between the layers. They also have high melting point because of the strong covalent bonding. Question two, state a property of nanoparticles that makes them good to use as catalysts. The answer is very simple. This is the high surface area to volume ratio. Write down an ionic equation for neutralization reaction. The ionic equation is hydrogen ion plus hydroxide ions will give you water. Question four, use reaction and bond, and bond energies provided to calculate the overall energy change for the reaction. This is an example from a previous exam paper where there is ammonia with oxygen gives you nitrogen and water. So you need to calculate first the energy taken in for bond break which are the energies for the reactant. So we have an ammonia molecule. Each ammonia molecule has three NH bonds and there are four of them. So in total, there are 12 NH bonds. The bond energy for an NH is 391. So we need to multiply 12 times 391. And then for the oxygen, we have three moles of oxygen and each one has one O double bond O with 498, so you need to multiply 3 times 498, the total is 6186 kilojoule per mole. And then you need to calculate now the energy released by making bonds for the products. So we have 2 N uh, triple bond N and then you need to multiply 2 times the 945 for the nitrogen and then we have the water molecules each water molecule has two OH bonds and in total we have six water molecules so in total there are 12 OH bonds so you need to multiply 12 times the 460 uh, four, and the total for that is 7,458 kJ per mole for the uh, products. The overall energy change is the energy taken in for bond breaking minus the energy released by formation of bond. So the um, answer is minus 1,272 kJ per mole, and the value was a negative charge because this is an exothermic reaction. Question five, why is oxygen described as being reduced in the reaction between magnesium and oxygen? So this is the reaction. The answer is that because each oxygen atom gains two electrons to give oxygen ions. So you can write the ionic equation and that should be enough for oxygen plus four electrons will give you two O2 minus. Question six, electrolysis of aqueous solution of copper nitrate. Name the product at each electrode. The answer, at the negative electrode, you're gonna have copper, and at the positive electrode, you're gonna have oxygen. And remember that because copper is below the hydrogen in the reactivity series, which means it's less reactive than hydrogen, then for the competition at the negative electrode, the copper will be the one that is going to be reduced. And for the uh, positive electrode, at the positive electrode, because uh, only halides will be reduced in case of aqueous solution. We don't have a halide here. We have nitrate as an anion. So when there is a competition between the hydroxide ion from water and the nitrate, the hydroxide ion is the one that is going to be oxidized.